Take 5 focuses on providing extended time for tests and exams in Blackboard. Many students may register with the DSPS office and need to have access to extended time on their exams or tests as an accommodation. Since it's not possible to alter test settings for an individual while other students are taking the exam or test, a separate test will need to be created to create a separate or duplicate test or exam, you will first need to create a copy of the exam using the Test Surveys and Pools tool. This duplicate exam or test must be deployed in the course with the adaptive release applied so that only those specific students can access it. Step 1, we're going to create a copy of the exam. To do this, you're going to go into the control panel and you're going to locate your course tools. And if it's not expanded, you can expand it. And you're going to select test surveys and pools. This will take you back to a screen and you can click on your test link. Once you're there, you'll see all your tests or quizzes listed there. For example, I would like to have Chapter 1 duplicated as a test so I can selectively release to a student who may need more time. So I'm going to click on the action link and I'm going to select copy. That means this test will be copied in its entirety and it will be noted by the 1 in parentheses. Now we're going to go to the content area and deploy the duplicate test or exam in the course. So in this case, I'm going to go into my learning modules and I'm going to go into one of the learning modules that I want to deploy the test. And make sure your edit mode is on so you will be able to see the buttons. In this case, I'm going to be selecting assessments and I'm going to choose text. And notice, you'll see that duplicate test that I just created. So you're going to click on it to select it. You're going to click on Submit. It's going to take you to another screen. You can put some specific description um, and notes in here for your student. And then you can actually create the test availability information, there's some settings here. You, again, may have to allow more time to do this particular test. Everything else, such as the date, should be the same. And then you can click on Submit. Once the test has been submitted and it's going to be in your learning module, you're going to have to select it and you're going to have to make sure that you click on the Actions link, drop it down, and this time you're going to select Adaptive Release. Notice we have some information here. Um, the date should be fine unless you're going to change the date. You won't necessarily have to adjust the date, the grade, or the review status criteria. What you will need to do is come over here to the membership and click on Browse and locate the particular student. Now your students will be listed and you will be able to select that student who needs this accommodation for their test. And then you're going to come over here and submit. Very easy and you'll see the test appear and only that student will be able to access this particular test that you have set up adaptive release for. Hopefully that helps. Thank you very much. Some things to consider. When you create a duplicate test or exam, you will have two grade columns. It is recommended you hide the duplicate exam column and exclude it from the Grade Center calculations. Then manually add the scores to the regular exam column. That way, students are viewing results from the same column and your calculated columns will be accurate.